Hey, Tom Merritt from twit.tv. This, we think, is the Amazon Kindle Fire, but we haven't opened it yet. It's time to take it out of the box. This is actually Brian's uh, Kindle Fire. He's holding the light over there, but he was nice enough to let us open it because mine hasn't come yet. Uh, but thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. All right, there we go. It uh, looks like the Kindles look these days. You get a little instruction sheet, simple uh, packaging. There is the Fire, very playbook looking. Here's your charging uh, device, although you do get a wall wart with this one, which you don't with like the $79 one. Uh, anything else underneath there? No, just air, just space. All right, so it comes in plastic as we, uh, as we know it does. Now it does, I can already tell it looks a little different than the BlackBerry Playbook. It's essentially the same hardware as the BlackBerry Playbook, but this is much more rounded corner. Uh, it's a little heavier, but it mostly looks the same. A little more rounded corners, a little smaller actually. If you look, Kindle Fire fits right over the top. You can hold one on top of a BlackBerry Playbook. And yet, the Fire seems a little bit heavier. Let's see if we can get it to turn on. May not be charged. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Kindle Fire. This is the first of the tablet-like offerings from Amazon. Uh, it is a touchscreen, full color, running on an Android 2.3, has apps. Uh, so it's, it's halfway in between an iPad and a regular Kindle. A Kindle ebook can do a little bit of web surfing, but it's an e-ink screen. This is not an e-ink screen. So there we go, Tuesday, November 15th. Slide to unlock. Uh, what do we pick, Twit Guest? So it really feels like I'm typing on an Android, uh, putting in that password. For sure. Usually with these Amazon Kindles, the first thing you do is connect to the network because it wants to do all kinds of personalization and authentication. Uh, ideally, this will be set up for Brian. Uh, so yeah, we're going to say Pacific Time. Uh, verifying registration status. Oh, so it skipped right past, and there it says, hello, Mr. Brian M. Burnett. I'm not Brian Burnett, but no, we're going to leave it uh, set up for him. So it's going to take a little while to connect and, uh, and, and download anything that it needs to download for him and put it on there. So through the magic of editing, we're going to speed this up. Okay, it's complete and starting in four, three, two, one. Installing updates. Ah, lovely. So this is actually something that happened with the BlackBerry Playbook as well. First time you turned it on, it had to install firmware updates and restart. Uh, that is a common problem for more advanced electronics these days. Uh, you don't have that happen with Apple products, uh, although I wonder now that they have over-the-air incremental updates whether they'll start to do that, but it's pretty common with Android stuff. Oh, there we go. Slide to unlock. Is that patented? Okay, now we got the welcome screen, uh, navigation bar to see different kinds of content. So you got your newsstand for your magazines, books, music, video, docs, apps, and the web. Pretty straightforward. Uh, then it's got a, you know, sort of an iTunes looking carousel of items. Uh, quick settings tab here to adjust volume or brightness. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. A little wheel, that's pretty, pretty normal. And there we go. Let's see, got a user's guide, Midsummer's Night Dream, New Oxford American Dictionary. Were those, Brian, were those things you had or did they just give you these? Um, I had the two Shakespeare things. Yeah, and, okay. Yeah. And they think they give you the dictionary now as a kind of a regular Right. thing because I had that on my free Kindle file and we got a few apps down here we can take a look at IMDB looks like the IMDB app on Android as it should you can do a back that'll take you back to the home screen uh, let's look at music it's because it's going to ask you to set up if you have the Amazon cloud uh, set up and video is probably going to do the same thing. Oh, no, it's, lo it's locked into uh, Prime Instant Videos and allows you to kind of look through all of these different videos, download or stream. But these are the apps that, that come with it. You get the Comixology app, ESPN Score, Pandora, Weather Channel, and then you can go to the store and see what kind of apps are available. Angry Birds, 99 cents, ad free. I'm not gonna buy it though, because I don't wanna run up the bill for Brian. But it, it works pretty well. Uh, let's, let's go to the web browser one last, 
thing before we let this go. And so it's, it seemed to have some kind of history there. I don't know who's been surfing on your. Uh, We'll load up tw good old twit.tv. Oh, it's slow to load, but we don't know if that's us or the Kindle. Now we're going to get the mobile version or the full version. This is the Silk browser. And watch live now. Twit photos happening right out there. I'll let that load and open another tab because I want to see what are all these things? My Habit, Wikipedia, Twitter, ESPN. They just spiked it with a bunch of bookmarks, mm -hmm. uh, partner bookmarks, it looks like. Tabs work pretty nicely, though. Scrolling works pretty nicely. Links are cool. It's taken a while to, to load up any kind of video, but there you go. That is the Amazon Kindle Fire out of the box and a first look for twit.tv. I'm Tom Merritt.